rotator cuff. Now the short note is very commonly asked on rotator cuff which is also known as musculotendinous cuff. Now the characteristic feature of this rotator cuff is that it is formed by the tendons, the flattened tendons of four muscles. So it is a facial sheath which is formed by flattened tendons of four muscles and those four muscles for that we use a mnemonic SITS these four muscles are supraspinatus infraspinatus teres minor and subscapularis. Now these four muscles, these flattened tendon of four muscles, they blend with each other as well as they blend with the capsule of the shoulder joint. So it blends with the capsule of the shoulder joint also. Now because it blends with the uh, capsule of this shoulder joint as well as with itself, it is basically strengthening the capsule or it is strengthening the shoulder joint. So it strengthens shoulder joint as well as it uh, stabilizes, also, it also stabilizes the shoulder joint. So we can write strengthens and stabilizes the shoulder joint. Now if we draw a schematic picture for this that uh, how it is present, if we view the shoulder joint from the lateral aspect over uh, this is the glenoid cavity. Around the glenoid cavity we have glenoidal labrum. Around this we have this capsule, the capsule which is covering the whole of the shoulder joint but it is slightly lax towards the inferior aspect. This is the capsule of shoulder joint. Now this capsule of shoulder joint as we have just mentioned over here, it is surrounded by the flattened tendons which are, blend, which are blending with each other. On the anterior aspect, the muscle which is present over here is subscapularis. The subscapularis muscle, it is towards the anterior side. So this is the anterior aspect and towards here we have the posterior aspect. On the superior side, the muscle tendon which is present over here. This is a supraspinatus. So the supraspinatus is present towards the superior side. And on the posterior aspect, we have infraspinatus and teres minor. This is infraspinatus. And this one is teres minor. So here by we can see that all these muscle tendons, they are blending with each other as well as it blends with the capsule. So thereby it is strengthening this capsule over here and we can very well see that it is strengthening the capsule from anterior aspect, from superior aspect and the posterior aspect and this rotator cuff is deficient on the post, on the inferior aspect. So rotator cuff, it is not present It is not present on the inferior aspect and uh, this may be a reason that the shoulder, the humerus dislocations or the shoulder dislocations are more commonly seen towards the anterior inferior aspect. Thus, 
the shoulder dislocations are commonly seen on anterior inferior aspect. So this is regarding the rotator cuff, in this you have to mention uh, the muscles and the significant clinical, clinical significance along with the diagram. Apart from this, you can tell regarding the various muscles which are mentioned over here, sits muscle that they on one side they are attached to the scapula and on the other side it is coming to the humerus and if you want to expand the answer, you can tell the origin and the insertions of these four muscles.